Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Here's the problem of the day for Mr. Woods Teaches. Hello, mathematician gardeners. I'm Mr. Woods Teaches, number talks. Hey, today I'm with my great friend Rigo. He's a pretty cool dude, I think so. Rigo went to the garden center. He counted 57 maple trees and 15 palm trees. How many trees were there? How do you think you'd figure that out? There's a standard algorithm where we can create a number sentence or write it out quickly, but I want you to have a deeper understanding of what you're doing. Let's see how it can be done. Hi, scholars. Let's see what I have here. I have maple trees and palm trees. But what does all this represent? Well, the long lines represents 10. So if you remember, we had 57 maple trees. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 10 is equal to 50, or 5 tens is equal to 50. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 ones, which makes 57 maple trees. Then he saw 15 palm trees, so it's 10, 1 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 5 ones is 15. How do we add this together to find out how many trees in total Rigo saw at the nursery? See what I did here? I added total for the trees. And then, look what I did here. I, had, I knew I had 7 up here, and let's count on 8, 9, 10. So I grouped them into, right here, a 10. Now what's the next step? Okay, friends, see what I did here? I had brought all of these down here, all these tens. So remember, there were five tens, so that's 50. Another 10, 50 plus 10 is 60. We combined ones to make another 10. And that one there is 70. And then we have two over here, 72. So the answer is Rigo saw 72 trees at the garden center. Thanks for watching Mr. Woods Teaches. And remember, to be a math person, all you have to be is a person that does math. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. Here's a preview of the next number talk with Mr. Woods Teaches.